Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have something nice and uh, it's actually very helpful, I think, if it does what it should do. It is uh, an IC tester and it can test uh, the 40X series and the 74XX and I think even the 45 series also. So, uh, well, just just have a look. Now, uh, I have in my drawers that I already have for, I think, 30 years, maybe. I collected when I was young a lot of these IC. I took them out circuit boards and I just, uh, yeah, I just collected them. I will zoom in later, but I don't know if they are still working or not. And then I have another one here also with some EPROMs, but the EPROMs I cannot test. But uh, this is just my drawers of uh, stuff and I'm just going to see what I can test and, and maybe I can throw everything away or hopefully some stuff is still working. And uh, then we have a real practice test also for, uh, for this thing. So this is my uh, drawer of uh, little ICs. Well, like the 40,000 and the 45, I should be able to test. As you can see, they are all used, and in the past I had all these little drawers. But then later, I thought it was a lot more practical to put all those little drawers in another drawer. And uh, then I can just uh, store a lot more stuff in the same space. And now I'm st now I'm storing all my components in the, in these drawers. Still in this list of little plastic drawers, but I can store a lot more. And the same, uh, well, it's more like vertical space now. Also, if you have those little drawers, it is nice, but then it fills your wall and you can nothing put behind. So that's why I thought, okay, if I have very deep drawers, I put my little drawers in there and then you have a lot better view. So I'm just gonna take a little selection. These are just a mix of everything. This is 41, I cannot test. I think 40, 40, 40. This I can test. This is for CB, PLLs and stuff. What I have here. Audio stuff. Here I have new. So these should still be working. So let's test those new ones. These are probably also new. So let's test these first. And we have the 7400 and what else we have, what is this? This is also 74, but the mix. These are also 74, but they are longer. So let's see if they, these can be tested too. What we have here. Um, this is packet radio, the 3105. I forgot about it. Fun to play with it also. Uh, well, let's get this out. Test it first. 40 series, another one. What is this? Okay, like this. So this is the, the tester when it arrives, it comes in two parts. You can power it between seven and 12 volts, as it said, as it says right there. And uh, it is called the PES 200. And you can buy it uh, with or without the casing. But this is the cheapest. I think it was around 20, 20 euros. And yeah, you can do it two ways. You can connect it like this. But according to the picture, in my order, I should do it like this. And the power connector is right here. It's just a DC plug. And it is the positive in the middle. They are not clear about that, but uh, that is the case. I think there is still some protective foil. Let's take that off because it's really, really brand new. And if I understand correctly, there are four buttons right here. And the mode is just to switch between the 40 and the 74. And it does not detect the IC by itself. So you need to set it to the correct mode. And then you, you select your uh, IC that you want to test. And then you put the test button and then it should go. So let me get the 
power. Oh, my power connector is not that long, I see. Okay, I need to move. Okay, test it on the table. Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, yeah, and yeah, maybe if I can make it a little bit darker. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I think you can still see the test device. And uh, so the mode button right here switches between the 40,000 series and the 74,000 series. And I think if you want to do the 4,500, that you just uh, go to the end. So you just, it says here up and down. So you just now go to your up button. You see immediately what type it is. 4013, it's a D flip, shift register, analog switches, DC counters, etc. And you just need to select what you have. Okay. And in the end of your 4000, you have here your 50, your 45. Okay, cool. Oh, and after that, it goes to the, oh, yeah, the yeah. The higher 40s, okay. Cool. Well, let's just uh, start with one. Let me take one from my plastic box. I have here, uh, what is this? A 4011, and you always need to put it as low as possible. So I do that. I close it in. Now, let's go to the 4011. It's a Norgate. I put my test, and it's going through all the gates. And it says, I see is good, so that is perfect. This one is good. Let me get an older one. Another 4011. As you can see, it is, uh, what is the game here? As you can see, it has been used. I took it out somewhere. So, is it still good? Test. I see it's good. I like this little tester. And my other, I have more. Here it says uh, 40, 30, and 45. So, what I have here. This is a 40, 50. Well, let's try. Close. Up, up. Fifty hex inverter. Oh, let's see. Going through all the gates. To be six. Yeah. Also still good. So apparently I did a good job in that time taking the amount. Let me see if something else. What is this? Forty-four. Do weird. Forty-four or four? No, I can't test that. What I have here? Fifty-one. Okay, let's try that one. And no. An analog multiplexer or something. And just tested one gate only. Okay. Let's do the 74 series. I have a lot of those, I see. How did I find those? They look new. 74-0-0. Switch over. No, there it is already. 
Okay. So, yeah, that is just one full of only 7400s. What else I have? I think here I have a mix of 7400s. Oh, it's so small. 74. 165. Shift right here, okay. I wonder how it's gonna test it. That was fast. And now I get another. And they were a lot bigger here in my 72 to 40s. And they are longer. Yeah, it's a 240. Put them in. The up down button is a little bit confusing. Could have been better the other way around somehow. It goes up, 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 down, 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 and this is. But uh, I can't test it. It does not have. Well, let's just test the wrong one. Let's see what it does. I see it's bad, yeah, because it's not responding as expected. Well, let's try to have a closer look. Uh, maybe I can zoom in a little bit. It's, it is now under the microscope. I'm now looking at the display, there is, so there is not too much to see. So I will take out the display module. Well, the display module only six says 1602. And all the chips are hidden. So not much to see in the display module. Maybe we can see something on the device itself. Well, we have the DC plug. We go down the switch. Here we have some resistors and some caps. Here, what we have here? Probably a regulator. Can we? Yeah, it seems to be a 5 volt regulator. Two caps. And here we have the only IC that is there. And it seems they took the letters off. Yeah. You can maybe. If you look around the corner, can we, in a different angle, no. They really took everything off. They want it to be a secret. Well, for this, I don't think for $20, you can build it yourself with the display and the text tool socket. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the <laughs> this is the IC I was testing, so this is not in the circuit. Okay. So that was a very quick test, but there is not much yeah, more to test now. You put the IC, uh, you need to select the type you use, push the test button, and that's it. And I think it's a nice addition to, to all the other test equipment. And uh, yeah, so I can go through my old uh, IC drawers and uh, just make a selection everything that doesn't work I throw and, uh, and, and it's great because together also with the other uh, component tester that I uh, made another video about this one does all the the three legs and uh, Cena diodes and uh, even I think uh, it was has an uh, LCR also so these two 
I can test most of my uh, components, especially when they are used. So yeah, I hope that helped. <laughs> Thank you for watching and uh, I hope to see you next time.